Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some great news for everybody who is looking forward to the iOS 4.3 and 4.3.1 jailbreak, and I have a strong feeling that this will probably be the last news video that I do because we are extremely close to the jailbreak. So I have a post over here on my website, besttechinfo.com. I will have a link to it down below in the more info where you guys can check it out and read it for yourselves. So the title is Red Snow Will Bring an untethered jailbreak to iOS 4.3 and 4.3.1. So this is from Muscle Nerds Twitter directly. First of all, he said the other day, well, Ionix untether is solid, just working out overall 4.3.x jailbreak issues and Cydia, and I actually covered that in yesterday's post and in yesterday's video. Basically, they were just working on getting Cydia correct, and they were working on fixing the minor bugs that they had with it. And then today, he said untether from Ionic also covers Apple TV 2. Thanks to Sarik and Nitro TV for getting the rest of the Apple 2 jailbreak ready. And then they gave a picture, and basically, it's not Nothing really it's just the Apple TV and here it is basically and as you can see they just have some code implemented into it right there which basically just proves that it is done after that this wasn't actually that long ago he replied to someone and said his untether will be in both red snow and pwnage tool forms so that is super exciting and that means that we are very close because he did give that information out to the entire world so I don't think he would actually say that unless we are on the brink of the Jailbreak. And his latest tweet uh, is, remember, Ionix Untether doesn't cover the iPad 2, so must still wait for a legal method to distribute Comex's 4.3 jailbreak for iPad 2. So that's right, we have confirmation from Muscle Nerd himself saying that the jailbreak is almost complete. They are now implementing Comex's 4.3 exploit for iPad 2 users because Ionix exploit doesn't work with the new i5 based iPad 2. So don't upgrade to iOS 4.3.1 if you have an iPad 2 just in case it only covers 4.3 because as you guys remember Comex's exploit was actually patched by Apple in iOS 4.3.1 before it was even released. So just a side note for every single iPad 2 user who wants to jailbreak, do not upgrade to iOS 4.3.1. And if you already have, then try and downgrade. The only way to really downgrade is to have your SHSH files backed up. So if you don't have your files backed up, that's too bad. You are too late. Uh, you're just going to have to hope for the best and hope that the jailbreak will be for 4.3.1 as well. This whole process shouldn't take long. We are approaching the final stretch, and I think it's safe to say that we will probably see it released in the form of Red Snow and or Pwnage Tool by the end of this weekend. However, it's unknown whether it will be for both Mac and PC users. So usually when uh, a jailbreak is released like this in Red Snow form and in Pwnage Tool form, obviously it's typically for Mac users first, but hopefully it'll be for PC users for everybody out there who is using a PC to jailbreak. But again, just be sure to stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to be updated when the actual jailbreak is released. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comments section, and I will try to have first coverage on it. So until next time, this is ICU, signing out.